Hi, welcome to my video. This is Caddy here. It has been almost a year since my last video update. In this video, I'm going to unbox HP Smart Tag 580 and guide you through how to set up the printers for the first time. Let us start the unbox today. So this is the HP Smart Tank 580. This printer launched in Q3 last year, 2023. So it's about one year old for this printer in the market. This is a multifunction 3-in-1 printer which comes with print, scan, copy, and also wireless printing functions. This printer is compatible with Apple AirPrint and Mobile Print. So which means your Android phone or your Apple devices such as iPhone iPad, even your MacBook is compatible with this printer. This printer comes with one set of inks. From the box here, you can see the ink itself can print up to 6,000 prints for color and 6,000 prints for black and white pages. From this HP tagline here, light on price indeed. I get this printer at a very low price after deducting all the vouchers and also discounts. In fact, I get this printer at 360 ringgit Malaysia or 120 Sing dollars from Shopee. So indeed, this is a very cheap printer, especially for a multifunctions ink tank printer with Wi-Fi printing capabilities. Besides that, this printer comes with two years on-site exchange warranty from HP Malaysia. For some region, it provides one plus one on-site warranty. So if you want to know more on the warranty terms and conditions, you can always check with your HP representative from your regions. So this is how it looks like from the inside. At the top here, there is this uh, print head and then the ink refills bottle and also some cables from this box over here. Let me put it aside. And from inside here, you will see there is this plastic bag inside. There is a handle, two handles here for you to pull out the printer. But let me pull it out. So two styrofoam at the side. This one you can take it out. This is about five kg. It's quite light. These are the accessories inside the boxes. You can find all the wires, the cables. One set of initial ink refill bottles. This one is 50 ml. The black, it comes with the full bottles, 135, only the color. It comes with smaller bottles at 50 ml. And this is the print head for the printer. The black and also the color print head. Firstly, we need to remove all the blue tape from the printer. So let's start from this one. This one. Open up. Make. Oh, it. Then the top here is top part, which is the last one. You can throw this away. Then this cardboard you can keep it somewhere else. This one you can throw. This one you can keep. After removing all the blue tape from the printer, next step, I will show you how to refill all the inks into the ink tank here. Firstly, 
open up the tower, the printer tower from the front. Then you will see this ink tower at the side here. You just open up all the cap. Take the ink bottle, tear it open. And this is the ink bottle for this black ink tank here. Unlike Canon and Epson printer, HP Smart Tank 580 does not come with the mechanic ID for each ink bottles. So which means you have the chance to refill the wrong color into the wrong tank. Because there is no mechanic ID or the patterns to prevent you from inserting the wrong color into the tank. So for the HP Smart Tank, you have to be careful when you fill up the ink. Make sure you pick the correct colors and plug it into the correct tank correctly. Else you will have to send this printer back to the service center to clean up the tank and also clean up the tubes, etc. Open up the cap. Don't worry of ink spilled because you can see from the cap here, this is, this is sealed. Just plug it in to fill up the tank. After the ink is filled up, you can see the tank here. The ink is already filled up to the top. Just remove the ink bottles. There are still ink left in the bottle. So this tank is about 50-60 ml capacity. That's why for this ink bottle, 135 ml, it won't be able to fill up the tank fully. You will have some balance in the ink bottle. This one completed, just close it. Next, I will refill the remaining color. The process is same, so I will speed up the video from this point. A few moments later. Once all the inks are fully refilled, close the ink cap, then close the printer front cover. After filling up the ink tank, we need to power on the printers in order to install the print head. So, you need to plug in the power cord. You need to select the power cord that's suitable for your regions. For my case, I am using this UK plug. So, take out the plug. Then, turn this printer around. Insert the plug into the back of the printer. Then connect the power plug to the power source. Once connected to the power source, you need to turn on the printer. Once the printer turned on, you will see the LCD display come up with these two icon here. This means that the printer is pending for installation. Open the printer cover. Then you will see the printer carriage move to the center of the printer. If let's say it is not moved to the center, you just close the printer cover for 15 seconds. Then you open it up, you will see the carriage move to the center of the printer. Before we do the installations, you need to remove all the orange seal over here. For my case, I just need to open up this one, the orange seal, then you will see the things open up. Same case, you need to pull out this holder here. So make sure you do it carefully because I know the space here is a bit small, uh, especially for hand like myself, uh, it's a bit hard for me to, to uh, put my hand inside. So I will start with the black print head, tear open the packaging, take out the print head. This is the print head for this smart tank 580 you will see there is this uh, orange seal here you need to remove the orange seal and then pull out this uh, orange cover from the top so this is the chip set be careful when you pull out the seal this one it covers the nozzle as well then pull out this part Doing. And this is a challenging part 
for myself yeah then push it in until you hear the sound the clicking sound now another one this is the tricolor print cake there it open okay open the package Get out the train head. Oops. So this is the tricolor print head. Same thing. Tear open the orange seal. And remove the orange cover. Okay. Take a bit hard on my big hand. Then push it to hear the click sound okay then close the printed cover that's it for the print head installation after complete close the printer cover next you will see this showing up the paper arrow so you need to put in some paper into the printer pull out this paper tray put in this A4 paper into the printer and make sure you clip this paper guide accordingly to fit this A4 paper you need to move it to fit the A4 paper so once you have completed the printer will start doing the first time initializations So this is the printhead alignment printout. Open up the printer scanner. Then you follow the guide here. This part it should be at the bottom of the scanner. So place it accordingly. You have to place it to fit the A4 sizes. To fit the A4 here. Once you ensure the paper is putting into the correct positions close the scanner cover then press this button over here now it will perform the print head alignment after completed the print head alignment you can open up your scanner and take out this uh, the, this printout this printout is no longer required so you can just uh, throw it away or keep it aside then you can start doing some testing on your printer I will do a testing with the printer using this page over here so I put this here and close it there is two buttons here one button is for the monocopy and other buttons with the green color light is for the color copy if let's say i want to test out the color printing i just press the color copy over here they do now it's doing the scanning as well as the photocopying this is a full page uh, copying yes Okay, this one is a photo stat copy. There are some minor color uh, deviations like the gray over here and versus this gray. But overall, the color wise, it is acceptable. So this is the color test print results with copy function of the printer. In these sections, I will show you how to pair the printer to your home's Wi-Fi router. As you notice, this Wi-Fi button blink since the printer start up. Before starting, you need HP Smart App on your smartphone for the Wi-Fi pairing process. So go to your mobile phone, open up the App Store, then search for HP Smart App. Download it.
then open up the app so it will start with these uh, introductions accept all then set up a new printer click allow then select new printer it will start searching for this smart tank 580 then select Wi-Fi press continue continue click allow turn on the Bluetooth now you will find this smart tank 580 select the printer allow once this is my home Wi-Fi. Once you key in the Wi-Fi password into this column here, it will send this password to the printer for the printer to pair with your home Wi-Fi. So, key in the password, click continue. Now the printer is found. Then you will see this message telling you that you need to press the I button on the printer to confirm your proximity press the i button with the password that you key in it will start pairing the printer to your home router so now it's finishing the connections Ta-da! the pairing is completed press continue hmm. press accept all allow you can create an account, but here, I skip account activation first. Now, you have entered the main menu of the HP Smart Print apps. You can print your photos, documents, or even scanning with the apps. Now, the Wi-Fi setup for Smart Hang 580 is completed. I'm going to print some photos to Smart Tank 580 using this HP Smart Apps. Select this Print Photos function. I'm selecting these two photos here for printing. Then click the Next button. We're going to print it with the plain paper. A4 size. Of course, you can select other size also or photo paper. And here I'm using just normal paper then you have layout whether you want to put it border or you want to fit fill so this is how you can decide whether uh, your how you want your photos to be printed out onto the paper this is fit fill border so you can put some large border or small border depends on the requirement then you can do some cropping rotating Flip. But I think should be that. Another one will be a full page. Once confirmed, press the next button on top. Then you have a preview, and click print. Now it is printing out the photos. So this is the first photo Addition So this is the second photo Of course, if you want to have better print qualities for photos, right, you can always get a photo paper. So this is a gloss photo paper. Let me put some photo papers to the printer for printing. This is a gloss type of photo paper. Let me replace it with this photo paper. Again, after you put in the paper, right, 
Please remember to fit it nicely with the blue guide. After that, go to your mobile phone, then select the print photos. Let's say I am going to print out this few photo over here. Click next. This one I'm going to print it with photo paper, and this is a 4R photo paper. It is 10 by 15. And then so let's see the layout. Yeah, few. They should be all full size printing. Well, after checking it out. Then go to next and start the printing. These are the print yeah, results yeah. of the HP 50 on photo paper. Indeed, the photo print quality looks better on the gloss photo paper. That's all for my unboxing today. If you like my video, please remember to click the like and subscribe button below. Thank you for your support. See you next time. Bye.